What's up guys, this is Alephant and you're watching the Alephant Show. Today is Monday, December 19th, 2011 and we're going to begin today with um, the death of North Korean Prime Minister um, Kim Jong-un. Well, he died at the age of 69, uh, but, but uh, I really do not want to know uh, how he died because then it might then I'm just gonna like waste it's just gonna take a lot more time to upload um, to produce the video and but anyways um so his uh, son his youngest his third and youngest son of um will be taking over prime minister seat in North Korea uh hopefully he doesn't do the same thing as Kim Jong Il maybe he will maybe he doesn't you never know. In world news, <laughs> Iraq issues arrest warrant for Sunni VP. According to ABC News, Iraq Sheikh led government issued an arrest warrant Monday, uh, which is today, for the Sunni vice president, accusing him for running a hit squad that assisted the government and security officials that have caused extraordinary changes a day after the last U.S. troops have left the country. Where, um, the vice president, Tariq al Hassan, left Baghdad on Sunday for the 17th Iraq region of Kurdistan, presumably hoping that Kurdish authorities will not turn him in. Investigate judges banned him the same day from traveling outside of Iraq. The move against the country's highest ranking Sunni official marked a sharp escalation in Syrian intentions, raising fears of restoration of Alaska bloodshed. Some many Iraqis welcomed America's withdrawal, um, which has ended the nine year world war in Iraq, but there are also considerable fears that violence will, like, will worsen in Iraq. Um, where it's slipping to its worst night in it is now and Iraq people will, will pay their price because of the struggle among police blocks at the pole of US troops, um, according to a Baghdad person. Um I feel for I feel bad for Iraq. I mean, after like nine years, why should why should be violence continuing? Isn't it like is, if the war is over, this should everything should be back to peace. Should be back to normal with like peace, with respect, like Iraqis respecting other Iraqis and other and visitors who are visiting Iraqi, you know. In movie news, uh, uh, there's been rumored that night, the Dark Knight Rises trailer could be explosive and scary. Um, according to Entertainment Weekly, um, the previous sketches, the film seems in conflict without ever sp the previous sketches, the film seems in conflict without ever spelling the plot. Where it begins with a boy launching into the national national anthem of a football game, where it's a flourish that signals the beginning of a high stakes game and a drama about the current state of the union. As the Star Star Spangled Banner plays, we hear some dialogue about replacing Commissioner Gordon, where he considered a war hero in a time in the time of peace. Uh, in perhaps the trailer most lowly moment, um, we see the hot and hathless Lena Kyle um, hissing a line into the ear of fat cat play, playboy Bruce Wayne suggesting that she's been spending time with the unhappy campers that occupy Gotham City similar to the, uh, the Occupy USA scene that's currently happening right now um, <laughs> yeah, um, that could be the one reason why th this trailer is based on like political issues because of the Occ Occupy Gotham City Similar to Occupy Boston, that like pretty much Occupy like world, um, like fifty percent of the world. In political news, um, um, uh, there's been rumors if Ron Paul wins Iowa, he could change election results. According to C Christian Science Monitor, um, where they do the late, where they did a latest, the latest, the recently an. Uh, the recent Iowa survey of the Re Republican presidential field, with, uh, where R Ron Paul is now on top with 23% of likely caucusers supporting him, um, which put which puts Mitt Romney in second place and Newt Gingrich in third place, which he, where he is like rapidly failing after after Ron Paul had put as that uh, that defended Newt Gingrich. But there's a second poll that was just released today, where um. Where it had Congressman Paul leading Mr. Romney twenty four to eighteen percent, but um, but Rick the, the bad governor candidate for uh, twenty twelve, um, Rick Perry, come came out one one point one point five points ahead of Mr. Gingrich, 
And New York Times polling analyst Nate Siller, who has developed his own forecasting model, is predicting a poll victory in Iowa. The Iowa model, which takes various polls into consideration and weighs them according to accuracy and other factors, now gives Paul a 50, 52% chance of an Iowa victory. It signs Robin a 28% chance of winning, and Gingrich a barely a tiny 8% chance of winning. So the thing is, Ron Paul will, be, will more likely win the 2012 presidential candidate, and the more likely, Rick Perry and New Gingrich might just follow the race. They might just not become presidents until the 2016 race. Shame on them. Finally tonight, we're going to talk about AT&T ending its 39 billion bid for T-Mobile, where, uh, where this afternoon it has said that it, it withdrawn $39 billion takeover bid for T-Mobile USA, acknowledging that it could not overcome opposition from the Obama administration to create the nation's biggest cell phone service provider. Um, where AT&T said in a statement that it would continue to invest in wireless spectrum but could not overcome resistance from both the Justice Department and the Federal Communications Commission. It added that American wireless customers will be harmed and needed investment will be stiffed by the regulators' decisions. And AT&T has laid it in the groundwork for its decision in recent weeks, including withdrawal of a proposal for FCC approval and by asking a federal judge to postpone proceeding in a lawsuit filled by Justice Department. Both regulators have indicated strong opposition to the deal. And last month, AT&T AT said that it would take a $4 billion accounting charge to the quarter to reflect the potential breakup of the deal. So why is why is AT&T want to team up with T-Mobile? T-Mobile just if T-Mobile just wants to be alone, then why then why AT&T decides to make a deal with T-Mobile? That is not that is. Pointless. There's no. There's no point making a deal with T-Mobile if they just want to do. If they just want. They just want to run the company. Company alone. Plus some fun news today in viral video news. Uh, a, <laughs> a man got shot by a grandma last week while he was trying to pick up a three-year-old kid, and he got shot while he was taking his. He 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 filled it with his iPhone. It's fantastic. That woman got arrested while she was trying to put a restraining order on him. Why? What's the point of needing to put a restraint on him if she, the if if the son's father was trying was getting picked up with a pillow? Is it is a monologue? Is his monologue trying to? Oh, I don't I don't want you I don't want you to take my stick take uh, your son. I want I I want him to stay with me because he loves me so much. Well, you may not realize that that his um his monologue might be a might be a bad. Might be a, might be a B. I don't want to. I don't want to swear this because if I do, I might, be, I might get in trouble on YouTube. That's it for today's show. I'm out of fun. I'm, uh, there'll be another show uh, this, uh, this Friday or this Thursday. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for this Friday um, because Thursday I might have plans to go out to, um, to a basketball game. Even though the NBA lockout is, the NBA doesn't start until Christmas Day, but uh, I'm going to try to post two two shows this week so uh, I don't forget what happens what's going on in the world but anyways that's it for today guys I'm Alifine and I'll see you maybe Thursday maybe Friday but we'll see about it